Hello and welcome. Welcome um, to uh, On Being Enslaved, Marian Anderson String Quartet's performance here at the Martinez Auditorium at Brown University. I'm Lisa Biggs. I'm the John Atwater and Diana Nelson Assistant Professor of the Arts and Africana Studies. And it is my honor to uh, introduce the performers this evening and to give you a little information about the program. Um, this event is sponsored by the uh, Center for the Study of Slavery and Justice in celebration of the center's 10th anniversary. The Marian Anderson String Quartet is a critically acclaimed all-female ensemble. They've performed at presidential inaugurations, the Library of Congress, and more, making history in 1991 when they won the International Cleveland Quartet Competition, becoming the first African-American ensemble to win a classical music competition. Their rich program presents works reflecting on the theme of enslavement, beginning with the MacArthur Genius Award recipient, um, Grammy Award winner and musical polymath, Rihanna Giddens at the purchaser's option with variations, through a suite by Jonathan McNair, composed for the story of the Underground Railroad and pieces written in honor of the quartet's namesake. Uh, so with performances that range uh, performance venues that range from the Alice Tully Hall and Library of Congress to soup kitchens and juvenile correctional facilities, the Marion Anderson String Quartet, now in its 32nd season, continues to uphold their mission to create new and diverse audiences for the field of classical music. Named in honor of the legendary contralto Marion Anderson, the Marion Anderson String Quartet, as I said, was the first African-American ensemble to win a classical music competition when it won the Cleveland Quartet competition in 1991. In recognition of its accomplishments, the Congress on Racial Equality awarded the Marian Anderson String Quartet the 2006 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Award for Excellence in Arts and Culture. In 2008, the quartet received Chamber Music America's coveted Guaneri String Quartet Award, and in 2010, the quartet received a National Endowment for the Arts American Masterpiece Award. So we are truly in the, the presence of some fabulous, fabulous artists this evening. The quartet has presented residencies, concerts, and talks at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, DC, at Brown University as the inaugural Hyman Artist in Residence at the Center for the Study of Slavery and Justice in 2014, 2015. Uh, TEDx Blinn College at Bryan, Texas, the Quad City Arts at Iowa, Gateways Music Festival in Rochester, New York, and at the 92nd Street Y in New York City. So this event, as I said, is part of the center's 10th anniversary series. Um, those activities began with a uh, launch last December. The series has also included reparation, a reparations con uh, conference, History, Justice, and Repair back in May. The exhibition currently on view in the gallery at 94 Waterman Street entitled Racial Slavery, Marinage, and Freedom, a 10th Anniversary Retrospective, and a performance in October by alumna Cherise Morris, class of 2016, entitled The Cosmic Matter of Black Lives. So on this 10th anniversary of the CSSJ, it is really important that we host the Marian Anderson String Quartet the CSSJ was birthed out of the Slavery and Justice Report, and for 10 years, we've been deeply engaged in both scholarly projects and research around racial slavery and its legacies, working through slavery's wake. We've done so with, que with keen, keen attention to publics. And on this occasion, drawing from the rich, complex African-American musical traditions, we thought that there could be no better event to mark our anniversary than this one. So this concert is made possible through the generous funding of the CSSJ's endowment and Highmark Artist Residence Program. Uh, before I uh, get out of the way so you can hear some great music, I want to do <laughs> two more things, which is to do a land acknowledgement and then also to just um, uh, share with you one, one item about the program. So we acknowledge that the university was built on the enslavement of Africans as well as on the dispossession of indigenous peoples. Recognizing that racial slavery was central to the historical formation of the Americas and the modern world, the CSSJ creates a space for the interdisciplinary study of the historical forms of, slav of slavery, while also examining how these legacies continue to shape our contemporary world. 
There will be a 15 minute intermission partway through the program. At the end of the event, we hope that you will please, please join, um, uh, um, join us for a reception, and some refreshments in the lobby. And I hope that you will um, also um, consider going to uh, see a, a second performance of the quartet at the Rochambeau Library this Saturday, December 10th from 3 to 4 p.m. That event like this one is also free. Free, 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 free. So, <laughs> so with no further ado, um, I'm just gonna thank the CSSJ staff, Africa Smith, Greg Opimbe, Pim, oh man. Obimpe, there we go. Uh, Shana Weinberg, uh, Nada, Sama, Rotondo, Kiku, Langford, McDonald, and of course, Professor Anthony Bogues. And please join me in welcoming, oh, wait, 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 we gotta turn off our phones, wait. Just turn them off. We're here for the live event, so let's enjoy them. With no further ado, the Marian Anderson String Quartet.
play the wrong piece. You <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to play it off.
There's all sorts of failed technology in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so tempted to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know you've known someone a long time. <laughs>